I'm Patrick Cullen. You and I are getting healthier together. Don't tell anybody, but the president and the Pope do it. Kings, queens, princes, you and I do it. I'm talking about flatulence, farting, gas, yes indeed. And I'm out here by the compost pile for a good reason, because in the compost bin what we have is organic matter that's being decomposed by bacteria. And as it's doing so, it's uh, breaking it down into the elements that will look like soil when I put it back into the garden. Uh, but it's giving off gas as a byproduct. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. So here's what the researchers have found. Among the byproducts in our gut, so we have 100, 100 trillion cells in the microbiome in our gut. And they take uh, the food that we are not digesting and they break it down into elemental parts. They live, it's a commensal relationship, good for everybody. Uh, and as their byproducts include butyrate, or butyric acid. The National Cancer Institute is researching this, trying to come up with a drug analog because it's so powerful at feeding the intestinal lumen and preventing cancer. Uh, we also find that hydrogen is one of the byproducts of this fermentation and flatulence. Hydrogen is actually a very powerful antioxidant. It's, some of it's absorbed into the bloodstream and it becomes a bioregulator. It helps to regulate the 60 trillion cells in the body, sort of a conductor. Uh, the average adult produces about uh, two ounces or a fourth of a cup of gas per hour. Hopefully it's not embarrassing anybody. If you're doing more and if it smells a lot worse, then you need to fix your gut. And this is where we start talking about a healthy gut should be putting off a little bit of gas, not too much, not too smelly, and not too offensive to others. The probiotic foods such as yogurt, sauerkraut, uh, kimchi, uh, uh, tempeh, there are foods that have been fermented that help to feed the friendly bacteria that then prevent an overgrowth of the unfriendly bacteria and yeast that make things like hydrogen sulfide. Those are the rotten egg parts. We don't want those. So what I'm sharing with you is if you're eating a diet rich in plant foods, we're talking about fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. If you're eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, those prebiotics, the things that we cannot digest, become an important part of our gut, which becomes an incredibly important part of our health. I'm Patrick Quillen, and you and I are getting healthier together.